have to be Charles Darwin. How could I think of anybody else? And Darwin was kind of interesting because he was very, very conscious of beginning from ignorance. There were so many ideas around that he had to throw away, in a sense, before he came up with this brilliant, sudden, what appears to be an almost aha kind of experience of evolution. But Darwin was interesting because he, he, he cared about data. He looked at details. He, he had a very detailed view of the world, and he looked over just tons and tons of details, but never, was, never took his eye off the, the big idea as well, and the thing that, was, that he was most ignorant of, which was how could species come about? What could be a reasonable story for species? Um, and so Darwin would be a really interesting person to talk to. There's no question about that. Then I suppose everybody wants to talk to Einstein. I mean, why not? And there's an interesting thought experiment there because this actually happened in a way. Well, of course, not the dead Einstein, but uh, an incident that's in the book, in fact, that I recount in the book is of Einstein and uh, Chaim Weizmann, the first prime minister of Israel, making an Atlantic crossing together from New York to Europe. And uh, they determined that uh, every morning for two hours they would sit on the deck of the ship and Einstein would explain relativity to Weizmann. And at the end of the trip, uh, Weizmann got off and made this famous comment in which he said that he was now convinced that Einstein understood relativity. And that's exactly the problem, of course. Weizmann was no better off for all this explanation, but, uh, except for knowing that Einstein now understood relativity. So I think Weizmann would have been better off not asking Einstein to explain relativity, but rather asking Einstein, if you will, but he didn't know. What was he thinking about? What were the problems? Now that relativity, whatever that was, was here, what were the new questions that had to be answered and, and asked and thought about? And then I think Weizmann would have gotten a real earful of really interesting stuff. And, uh, and his life would have been changed and his worldview would have been changed and he would have had to rethink whether the God that he, he and Einstein had previously believed in was still the one they could believe in. So that's the kind of question or conversation that you want to have with a scientist, dead or alive.